In today's video, I will be showing you how to download files from a website when the download button link is broken. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. Now I'm going to open up my web browser and you now need to head on over to the website where you're having problems from downloading whatever it is you're trying to download. I'm using Epic Games as an example right now, but I will also use Steam and TeamSpeak. As you can see, the download button is in the top right hand corner. If I hover over this button, I can now see in the bottom left hand corner that I need to search for Epic Games Launcher Installer.msi. So we now need to open up the page source. To do this, all you need to do is right click anywhere on the web page. I'm using Firefox for this, but it will be similar in other web browsers. You then need to click on View Page Source. And now I need to go Control and F to find, and I now need to type in .msi. And if I scroll left a little bit, as you can see, that's the link there. It says Epic Games Launcher Installer.msi. If I now right click on this link, and then go copy link location, or you can just highlight it and go control and C. If I now paste that in the top bar and go enter, as you can see, it's now allowing me to download that file. So that's how you do it on the Epic Games Store. If I just cancel that and close down the Epic Games site, we now have Steam. If I hover over the Steam button, again, I can see the location of the URL, which is steamsetup.exe. Just because I can see that link there, even though that link looks fine, but sometimes that can actually be the part that's broken. And that's why we're going to go view page source, and then we're now going to go control and F and go .exe. And there we go, that's the link there. That should work absolutely fine. Again, if I right click, go copy link location, and then paste it in at the top. There we go, it allows me to download that file. If I now go cancel and close down Steam because we're done with that one, we now have TeamSpeak. But this one's a little bit more complex because if I hover over the download button there, there isn't actually a .exe or anything. It just says nothing. So to find this one, we could go into the page source again by right clicking and going view page source and then going control and F and searching maybe .exe. And there we go, that looks like it's that one there. But just to be sure, it's definitely that one because as you can see below actually, there is another link for a .exe. If we close this down, even though you can actually see here client 32 bit and client 64 bit, so I know it would be this one. But let's just close this down for a second. If we now right click and then select inspect element, you now need to click on this little button here, which allows us to inspect an element on the page. And if we now click on the download button, and straight away, as you can see, the URL link is right here. And that is also another way of how to find a download file when the link is broken. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.